Hello and welcome to The Spotlight Show, proudly brought to you by Mercury International, the biggest betting company in Sierra Leone. I am your host, Becky. We're here at the cozy Cabenda Hotel. This place is super cool. So don't forget to drop by anytime. Today with me on the show is the general in the entertainment industry. He's none other than Menace the General. Welcome to Spotlight, Menace. Thank you for having me, Miss B. Okay. Welcome to Spotlight, Menace the General. Thank you, thank you for having me. So you're Dennis F. Bangura. Yes, ma'am. Are you a general in the army? No, I'm not. So why then Menace the General? Uh, well, I feel like I'm a general in the music business, so oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, Menace the General. Um, well, I know you probably heard of uh, Menace, D Dennis the Menace. Yeah. So that's where I got it from. Oh. Dennis the so Menace. So are you troublesome? No, I'm not a menace at all. It's, I'm <laughs> the opposite. When, well, when I was younger, I was a menace. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> such a rambunctious child. But yeah. no, now grown man, very gentle. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> So how did how this did whole it start? music thing started? Oh man, um, it's been a long journey. Uh, music has always been a part of my life. Um, I've always been around music growing up. My parents, my aunts, uncles that raised me. Um, but I would say officially when I became a passionate artist was when I uh, attended Sierra Leone Grammar School. Okay. And we'll always have what's called back in the days miming competition. Yeah. And I will you know, memorize lyrics to famous rap songs. Mm -hmm. And then during class, I would just, you know, go off and people started liking me and started getting, getting, uh, 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 you know, becoming known for that, like, you know, Dennis the Rapper, you know, but it wasn't my songs. It was just me mimicking other artists, mm -hmm. you know. And then it grew into me thinking maybe I can write my own lyrics. Mm -hmm. And then here I am today as Menace the General. Yeah, but then people really, really love your Creole rapping skills. My Creole so, rap. Yes. So how well do you get on with that now that you live in the U.S.? Oh, man, I'm yeah. a born Salombo boy. So Creole <laughs> will always be a part of me. Like, it will never go anywhere. So, um, and once again, being born and raised in Freetown, uh, East Coast, raised in the West, you know, attending Sierra Leone Grammar School, you have to know Creole somehow. Yeah. So, um... I that's what depicts my music, you know, my 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 uh, my heritage, mm -hmm. you know, Creole is my first language, yeah. no matter what. I mean, I can go to the States and speak English, but it's always going to be Creole. That's my first love. Mm -hmm. So I told myself if I'm going to do music, I'm going to start off with home, which mm -hmm. is, you know, Sierra Leone and branch off maybe later on, like I'm doing now, which is trying to expand my my musical, you know, endeavors. But yeah, Creole is what I'm known for and I love it. Good. Yeah. You you are a multi-talented singer. Yes, ma'am. And you can sing, you can dance, you even paint. Yes, ma'am. Draw, write poems yes, and a lot. How do you portray all of this? Um, well, I'm s what you would call a renaissance man. Okay. Um, I grew up in the arts. Like everything that encompasses menace is arts. Mm. So um, it's always been music, um, creative arts you know, dance and every, you know. But um, music definitely has an edge because it's my first love, like it's actually a passion of mine. The rest is just a God-given talent, okay. you know, like my art, yeah. you know, my pain and my drawing and everything else, that's a God-given talent. Um, but music, you know, I, I would say part of it, yes, maybe talent, but the rest of it is hard work, you know, so, um, yeah, I've always just been in the arts, you know. Um, it's just me. That's what defines men as the general. Okay. Yeah. Just 
Well done. I would love to get your painting. So as soon as we're done, oh, definitely. we're going and you're going to definitely give me one. Definitely. Okay. You you studied fine arts yes. in, in America. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about it. Um, well, my my art, uh, well, it started here in Sierra Leone. When I used to go to school as a young child, that's when I, you know, figured that I have this ability to 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 create, to draw, mm -hmm. paint, and all the extra stuff. While in class, everybody else will be taking notes. Yes. I will sit there and just, you Boy. know, draw. Oh. You know, I'll be etching, just draw, you know, random stuff. You know, I used to get bit up for that actually, <laughs> a lot. You know, so. And that's another thing because here in Africa, well, Sierra Leone to be specific, because that's what I know about, that's my experience, I don't think they, they embrace the arts as much as they do in the Western world. Mm -hmm. So I was a gifted child coming up, but they didn't see that. You know, this young boy has a gift of drawing until I uh, migrate to the States. And um, I was in the eighth grade, I believe, that's when you know, um, my art teachers started picking it up. And they placed me in a higher level art class, which is IB Arts, it's called International Baccalaureate class. Okay. So it's a higher level art class art for, class. you know, um, exceptional students. Mm. So that's when I knew I had, a, you know, this gift. And, um, and then it just grew. And then on to college, I um, major in fine arts and minor in business and graduated in 2010. And, here I am today, so still guess, chasing it, it. I guess it is helping you in the industry. Oh yeah, somehow, yeah. Because uh, a lot of what I learned in arts, it's I'm still incorporating now into my music. Okay. Everything about me is arts. You know, see me blue cap, me blue glasses, yeah. me blue clothes is <laughs> arts. You know, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a quick break now. And when we come back, we're gonna have bits and pieces. Don't go away. You're watching the spotlight. Welcome back guys. So Amanda is not around but then we have something special for you. So check it out and I'll be right back. April 27 I welcome you again. You're a reminder that I'm getting older and also a painful reminder that my agony is not getting any better. My children are getting ready to celebrate me, fine. But it's also a painful reminder that the picture hasn't gotten any clearer. I see a lot of devastation and I smell the stench of death of our nation. Premature extinction of a young generation all due to greed and corruption. Crippling this beautiful creation. Imminently Sierra Leone crashes and that's the wall's anticipation. They say it takes real eyes to realize we'll realize Well in this case I just realized that I might have given birth to a generation of blinds Or are they just intentionally using the fault to distract them from moving forward Or maybe not to remind them of who they are by looking behind At least if you know not where you're going, know where you're coming from And eventually your moral compass will lead you to your destination Take away the ignorance and the hate as the process of elimination A greener pasture for your children tomorrow should be a justification I see a lot of self-righteousness on social media Copying and pasting ideas, propagating arrogance Talking more and less action to end this hysteria Ignoring the sage, refusing to turn to a new page Continuously unleashing your rage Well most I remind you that for every generation of ignorance there is a wage Power conscious breeds corruption, I agree But if the rest of West Africa is rising, why can't we? Settling for less, let's change that mentality and let us be free Take off those blindfolds, I raise you with two eyes so use them and see Sierra Leoneans, lions on the mountain, hearts of a warrior Let's do it for Baibure and let's do it for Senbepie Madame Yoko and the soul of Kailondo And many more that believed in independence will unite us And many more that believe together we are an it's incredible force 
Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to keep up with the Spotlight Show, proudly brought to you by Mercury International. Still with me here is Menace the General. So I understand you can edit music videos, you can direct them as well, yeah. and you've directed videos for other artists. Yes ma'am. So tell us more about that. My video editing. Um, yeah, I do edit videos. Um, that's another part of my uh, creative side, my artistic side. Um, I started video editing in, uh, I want to say roughly 2009. Cool. Yeah. Um, and it's all, like I say, I love the arts, I love creating. And um, I have done videos not only for myself, but for um, a lot of my fellow artists in the industry. You want to want for test the one of them classic tunes, you know. You just let the music breathe, for sure. Huh? We the one they want for test the boy. Simply they vanish, they know they exist again. Oh, oh. One the one they want for when we join. Always just they pray for see me in pain. Then they follow my kata, follow my kata. Every, every step I take. Oh, oh. Yeah, but uh, that's another thing that I love doing, and I've, you know, I'm still, that's what I'm, what I'm doing right now in Sierra Leone. I'm actually working in a musical compilation. I'm putting together a bunch of videos that I will be releasing to the public real soon, because Menace the General has been gone for a while, so the return will be real soon. Back with fire. Yes, ma'am. So, um, you're close with most of the other artists. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with other artists because it seems like you're very close with them. Um, well, I have a good relationship with most of the artists. I don't know every single Syrian artist, but the ones that I do know, I have a good relationship with. Because mm -hmm. um, I try to keep that positive vibe, you know, and um, I'm known for that actually. Um, but yeah, and I wish and hope to keep building relationships, especially with the artists that's here in the, in, at home. Mm -hmm. And um, but most of the ones in the states, especially in the DMV area where I come from, which is DC, Maryland, and Virginia, I know almost 99% of the artists, and I've worked with most of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just you know good relationship. Great. Yeah. Well, I believe most of our artists need such spirit. Definitely. Um, tell us about the video Now We. It's, now we. it's a very good music video, okay. I have to say. Okay. The directing and everything. What inspired the song and the video? Oh. <laughs> Let me go in, stage one begin before we reach two The bars go don't sink in, hip like a chicken, they flow, they can't dive in This man don't lose some, now then I'm a victim Men is the general, kinds out with LA, all black like a funeral Resuscitation, this night revival, hip hop is paid for, we own them, no rental No, the game need we, sabi no go worry, M&L, no the loss, we they rap the like a kiddy Flow still tetty, the weight still heavy, anybody want my step up, yeah, yeah, we ready Now we reach so quick like a bad news, make your face look like you sip on but bad juice, big full gap and sound confused. Time for car or tuna lights like a ball fuse. Plenty calm, plenty go, plenty quick for the choco. So man can talk, let's get chat now. God know it's in the go go. I say I go. Um, it was actually uh, supposed to be a, a mini album that we were working on. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Now We is one of the songs that we released. It was um, premature because it wasn't planned. Mm. Yeah, but um, it's a project that maybe, who knows, in the future we might go back to. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just a surprise, like two major hip hoppers in the game, you know, collaborating and releasing something to the public. But yeah, I love it. It's a great song. It's a great video. And um, hopefully, like I say, from that project, we'll have some more coming, you know, that we'll dish out to the public. But and, it's... Uh, Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a good video. It's a good song. Okay. Yeah, and, and thank you. And <laughs> you're welcome. So, apart from all of this, you've been doing a lot of philanthropic work. What's the motive behind this? Um, well, the, it's a part of me because being born and raised in a third world country, you have to kind of have that, you know, um, humanitarian side to yeah. you. Because I grew up seeing poverty. Mm -hmm. I grew up you know, in the ghetto. I grew up, you know, rough. So, um, 
having the opportunity to uh, move to uh, uh, the, the states and you know for a better life, you know, um, I just had to look back and, and see what I took for granted, you know. Um, so my philanthropic side basically is just, you know, me just loving my people and wanting to give back. I don't have much, but, you know, as we all know, Sierra Leone is one of the, well, I love Sierra Leone to begin with, you know, I love home, but we will want Sierra Leone to be better than it is today, yeah. you know, so um, it's always been, I'm a patriotic Sierra Leone, and put it that way. You know, I want to see the best of Sierra Leone, so. I never knew that life would be this tough when I gave birth there So my children, now I feel the pain Every now, Every now and then when I do come home, I advocate for everything from education to healthcare to whatever it is that I can put my hands on. Just, you know. And, and you were also part of the United Nations Ebola concert. Uh, yeah. So how did that happen? Um, well, I believe it was 2014 that Ebola devastated Sierra Leone, right? Yeah, 2014, 15, around that time. Um, I was here in Sierra Leone when it, hap when it started but I left right before I hit the capital. Mm. So I got back to the States and then I started seeing all the sad news of Ebola, you know, you know, um, claiming innocent lives and I was moved, I was hurt by that. So I had to take action. So um, I ended up joining Artists with One Voice, which is a musical group that was put together specifically for that, mm. you know. Um, and um, with the we had the likes of the Vicky Fauna. I know you've yes. heard of Vicky Fauna. You know, Auntie Vicky. Shout out mm -hmm. um, the great Johnny Wisdom from Blind Musical Flames, mm -hmm. um, Lady Felicia, yeah. and Brent Woodall, who is a American country singer. Mm -hmm. um, Brickelia from Liberia. It was it's a it's a bunch of talented artists that came together for a good cause. So we put together a couple of songs and Ebola was one of them obviously because that's why we created the group to begin with. So um, I did the video and um, it took wave and people started paying attention to it because it was very poignant, you know. Um, the, they felt the message and um, not too long after that, after the video, the United Nations invited us to the headquarters in New York okay. to do a show. Well, they, are, they had already planned a show, but we were one of the headliners yeah. of the show. So, um, yeah, and I must say that's one of my highlight of my career. Aww. Yeah, because I felt proud as a Sierra Leonean standing on that stage, you know, in front of all these dignitaries, just repping the green, white, and blue. Um, so, it was a good feeling, it was great. Kudos to you guys. Thank you, thank You're you, we appreciate it. Still standing strong in the very midst of the storm Anticipating better days and being optimistic Still smiling even when the sun is smiling back at us Okay, we we'll go for a quick break and when we come back The genre and I are gonna play 10 on the spot Don't go away, you're watching the spotlight Welcome back guys, so still with me here is Menace the General, a multi-talented Sierra Leonean living in the US. So Menace, yes, we're going to play 10 on the spot. I expect straightforward answers, no cheating, no lying. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, question one. Who's been that one person you look up to? Um, 
a lot of them, but as of now, I'll have to say the late Nelson Mandela. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mission two. What's the most courageous thing that you've ever done? Uh, most courageous thing I've ever done. Um, also, there's probably a bunch of them, but if I was to, one of the things that I'm proud of myself for doing was um, maybe during the mudslide be coming to Sierra Leone. Well, I was already coming to Sierra Leone, but um, just connecting with uh, the victims. Mm. Yeah. And um, it was touching for me as well, mm. not only for them, but for me, you know, as a, as a person. So, yeah, I don't know if I would consider that courageous, but um, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Question three. Mm -hmm. What music video directing was wow for you? Obayanda. Obayanda. <laughs> yeah. Because mm. um, the concept and the time frame and how I pulled it off. So I was proud of myself once again. I actually had two days in Sierra Leone. I was getting ready to head back to the States. And I prepared a, a video shoot. And in two days, well, less than a day, mm. we shot the video and I took the footages with me. Oh. And um, the concept was all Africana. We were wearing, you know, our African attires and all that. And it was just beautiful and a lot of people love it. And that was my first official um, Sierra Leone video, if I must say. So, did you sing the music? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the artist okay. and the director. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. But I love the video. I just love the, the whole concept. And um, a lot of Sierra Leone, especially in the diaspora, mm -hmm. um, appreciated that, you know, because we see the Nigerians do it, the Ghanaians do it, you know, South Africans embracing the culture and um, incorporating what they have, you know, their colors, heritage, you know, everything in them videos you know I was tired of the Western world yeah. type of you know facade so I wanted to show Africa okay mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. if you were told you had one week to live what would you do one week to live what would you do I was seeing every single day of my life oh my god <laughs> <laughs> epic good yeah. question five what amazes you coming back to Ceridian um, the people, the culture, um, the, the, the geography, the stuff that most Sierra Leoneans take for granted. I guess it's after, after you, you travel mm -hmm. and you've seen the outside world, when you come back you appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. So um, for example, I grew up around the seaside. Yeah. I used to take it for granted, like to me it was just, you know, Abadin Beach, yeah. Lumley Beach, you know. <laughs> but then when you go to the Western world, that's stuff that they appreciate, like it's huge to them, you know. Um, taking a long walk by the beach, you know, um, sunset, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what I appreciate more when wow. I come home. That's why every time I want to find serenity, I go to the beach, I, you know, watch the sunset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is your all-time favorite artist? Musician? Yeah. Um, rapper Nas. Nice. Um, singer Michael Jackson mm. and second on that list Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah. How about in the art area? Because the you're art. painting. Yeah, um, well, I was inspired by a, a bit of um, Pablo Picasso. Okay. Yeah. Um, he had a movement called Cubism. Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, he incorporated a lot of African colors and, 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 and shapes into his work. Mm -hmm. So I love that. So I was, I was moved by that. So I learned a lot of his color, you know, um, um, his coloring and his, his you know, um, composition. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite question. Okay. When do you intend to get married? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Um, well, marriage, I do believe, um, it's, uh, it comes from the most high, you know, you, you meet the perfect person, mm -hmm. you connect, and when it happens, it happens. But, um, you know, I'm getting older, of course, and yeah. I do believe in marriage, so pretty soon, by God's grace, you know, who knows, maybe right after the show, I just walk to the church and get married. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Question eight. Who would you consider the sickest rapper right now? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Because um, I'm, once again, I'm a very, uh, I'm a nationalist. I love my country and I want to project more of what we do. So I'm going to base it in Sierra Leone. Yeah. I don't want to talk about, we all know the Western world, American hip hop. So I'm not going to go there, but I already mentioned Nas, the Kendrick Lamar. I'm a fan. 
but let's talk about Sierra Leone. There's a lot of good rappers in Sierra Leone that I do admire. Um, definitely legendary shadow boxer is one of my favorite you know um, and he knows that as well Aww. and um, as far as the I wouldn't call them up and coming anymore the generation that came after us mm -hmm. um, Mr. Best he resides in the States awesome. yeah Mr. Best is a very talented artist and I just love his composure and um, his humbleness um, Drizzy Lake yeah yeah Ben 10 um, um, who else and uh, yeah, and a bunch of them. I'm just, the names are just, you know, fumbling in my head. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Wan, who's a mm -hmm. good friend of mine. Okay. Um, Exubi. Yeah. Um, who else? And I, a bunch of underground that people don't even know about. Yeah, exactly. And I do a lot of music with them. Okay. So every time I come home, I tend to spend more time with the underground artists than the big names, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, it's a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah. Question nine. Okay. What's your best childhood memory? Um, swimming. Um, I'm gonna say this in Korea. I'll be the kekwe from grammar school. <laughs> I'll be the go swim now and play with them called golf. Mm. Yeah. That's my favorite childhood memory. Oh. So swimming, yeah. You know, I'm skipping school just to go swim. You know, I love, I used to love that. It was risky, it was very, very dangerous yeah. you know but um i miss those days that's a good one yeah and lastly okay since i can't ask you to draw right here uh -huh. you are a poet so just give me your first stop of one of my poems poem, yes oh man that's a tough one i wish i had known <laughs> yeah i don't feel like i was casa de alife <laughs> you know um oh, why? but there's a there's there's one that i always recite i might not be able to recite everything it's not really a poem it's a verse okay. but i've never really used it um Menace, a.k.a. Mr. General. Now I'm the Steven Spielberg of the game I create the scene. So therefore it is only right that you can read my lips and the words in between. Now I just gotta be in the right state of mind to speak my rhymes that sounds like something that's way past your bedtime. Like DiCaprio, catch me if you can, cause like Clef, I'll be gone till November. Like Santa return for Christmas in December with a gift that's ten times hotter than the devil's summer. Don't take my word for it, but this flow that I'm about to spit is incredible. My flow is so ill, it's incurable. Since birth I was diagnosed with a rapping disease, it's inevitable. I can speak when I please. Hmm. Doctors call me an epidemic like the Ebola virus. Make me wonder to myself, is this a gift or a curse? Like Einstein, maybe I'm simply a genius. Okay, that's it for our time on the spot questions. We'll go for a quick break and I will be right back. Don't go away. Mercury International. Are you ready? From the first kick of the ball to the final whistle. You have even more live betting markets at your fingertips. Anywhere, anytime. Bet now in play and get real-time live statistics and prices on all the biggest leagues across the world, including Premier League and La Liga. Bet now with MercuryBet.com to play your way today. When winning matters, why bet anywhere else? So the West African movement, what's right. up with that? Um, West African movement, wow, um, is, uh, is, well, my movement that I'm associated with. Okay. Associated with. Um, it's a group that we formed uh, back in 2008, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's just what I represent. You know, it's like a record label, but it's not really official, official. Cause, but I'm the artist, and uh, I have few other artists that I'm looking forward to, you know, bringing okay, into sign. the yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't like really using the word signed, um, cause it, 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 signing takes a lot more, you know, than what people just think. A lot of people just come into the industry, oh, I'm signing this person, signing that person, but do you really have what it takes to sign an artist, you know? So um, yeah, but that's my thing, my movement. You know, and um, I'm from West Africa, so yeah. West um, African movement. Yeah. Great name. Mm -hmm, thank you. So, what's next from you? What should we expect from the general himself? Oh man, a lot. <laughs> um, for one, uh, I've been MIA in the industry, missing in action yeah. for a while. But um, at the same time, I've been around. If you really look, if you're in the in the industry and you you know you're doing your research, I've always been around. Um, I've done a lot of collaborations with um, different artists that's, you know, well, not my songs, Future In. Mm -hmm. um, back to my videos, I've done a lot of video work. So either way, I, one way or another, I'm always in the industry doing something. If it's not mine, it's somebody else's. Um, but now, as of 2019, I'm working on my project. Um, 
I was contemplating whether I want to do uh, an album, but it might not be an album. It's going to be a bunch of singles that I'm going to release. Okay. But it's all about consistency because a lot of my fans, they, they want to hear your songs and, you know, you drop one record and you I go MIA for like three, four, five, six months or a year. So now I want to cut that down. I want to bring back not just Minister General, but my dearest gift. That's another definition of the acronym MDG. Okay. My dearest gift, Darius MDG, gift. yeah. Great. So that's, I'm gonna, you know, introduce my dearest gift. My dearest gift is like my alter ego. It's more like my, my hidden side that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. Like in Sierra Leone, there's no man is the general as the rapper, drink to ya like he, yeah. you know, one man game, you know, um, if it's ya. But my dearest gift now is more like the the, comp the, the, the composer, the, you know, the singer, mm -hmm. you know, the just a little hint of creative, you know, um, musical vibe that I'm bringing into the game, you know, so um, yeah. Um, working on a bunch of videos and like I say consistency once I start releasing I want to make sure I hold the media for a long time okay. yeah so fans watch out you know you're gonna be seeing a lot of minutes to general <laughs> and um, yeah hopefully you love what I'm releasing you know hopefully when I let them just look out and embrace me the first time you know yeah, yeah so yeah well we can't wait definitely but before we go mm -hmm. I heard you bought something special for your fans but before that okay how does it feel to be on the spotlight show man I love it I love mm -hmm. it I'm uh, you know it's 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 been great it's been fun um, sh you know shout out to you the, the you. host Miss B and um, the guys behind the cameras you yeah. know and you know the entire team you know um, thank you guys because this is what we do need in the industry you know to uh, um, showcase our talents yeah. you know and our hard work you know, because people need to see it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank the you. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah. I appreciate. Thank, thank you. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna take a boy back. Man, it's y'all ready? Let me. Hey yo, now this is no gimmick. I was born with the lyrics, only a matter of time before I serve them the garlics. Talking about these vampires that's out there to get me, but evidently, man, I'ma show them who is mighty. More often, I got more power than the ranger. You better stop now, cause I miss the cold danger. Yeah, niggas so nice. The gift? the gift, yes, the gift for the, the 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 lucky fan out there that's been watching. You don't watch we tweet on keep up, you know, this whole time. You know, we get gifts for now, you know. Um, then you for ask two questions then. And um, if you've been watching the show, you get for easy for me to answer the question, you know. And the gift to go left hand with Miss V, yeah. you know, where you win, you answer the question right, it's yours. So. Wow, so I see you have a collection of tattoos. Yeah. Tell um, us more about this. My tats. Yeah. Um, this is my, my pride possession. I love my tats. And it's not going anywhere, so it's prominent. But yeah. Um, a lot of people get tats for for whatever reason, mm -hmm. but I feel like you have to first know what you want to get in your body because it's prominent, it's not going anywhere. So mine, this arm is based on my culture. It's all about Africa. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the African map, mm. the roots, and villages. Yeah. You know, this symbolizes my um, grandma's village, my Kenny. Cool. Yeah, and um, a bunch of Adinkra symbols. Mm -hmm. They're called Adinkra. They're from Ghana. Oh, yeah. And um, they all represent something. Like this one is uh, the Most High, mm -hmm. Majesty to believe, believe in God. God. Mm -hmm. And um, this one is one who walks on fire mm -hmm. and never gets burned, mm -hmm. so which describes me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I'm very tough. Okay. And this one is um, Siamese Crocodile. Mm -hmm. um, it's deep. This is probably the deepest one because mm -hmm. that's what Africa is going through today. So it's two crocodiles that intersect one another. Mm -hmm. And they share the same stomach, but they fight for yeah, food. Yeah. So it's basically we share the same stomach, but we're fighting for food, which food. doesn't make sense. Because mm. if you eat, I eat. Yeah. You know, but we they still fight it. Exactly. Stomach. So that's what's going on in Africa. So that's what that represents. And um, a bunch of other ones around, you know, um, MDG. This part is not done yet. It's okay. still a work in progress. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, and the top is a star because I feel like I am a star. Yeah. And my mom, my mom's name, Marion, my sister, Jemima, Jemima. and Delaw. And I'm a bad boy, my papa. Okay. And I would call Delaw. Oh. So, yeah, so that's him. Cool. But yeah, so my entire arm is based on Africa. So if you look on the more deep, you see Africa. Yeah. So even when I'm in the States and people see me, see my tattoos, they can tell where I'm, where I'm from, you know, just by looking at the map. And 
to everything else. Hi. And hopefully next time we will link for do the spotlight. This you and have another. Oh yes, this anger for B but um music. <laughs> okay. So I get other explanation for you by okay. okay. Right now so right now you're blank. Okay. No, the face logic for going song, okay. I just get the normal, yeah. Good. Good. I'm not gonna take it that far. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. It's just the arms. Well then thank you so much for coming, man. Thank this you for having general. me. It thank has you. been wonderful. Continue running the game. Thank like you. Like the general you are. Okay guys, if you want to win these lovely gifts, you can follow us on social media and that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Iper Multimedia. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Iper Multimedia TV, to find out more how to win these lovely gifts. So it's a wrap guys, it has been wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been your presenter, Becky. Until next time, bye-bye.